Alright guys, got a lot of questions about how to modify these stock injectors for more flow. Um, you can't really see on this camera, but there's four holes on this injector right here, um, through the, which is what restricts the fuel coming through it from the factory. Also, you probably can't see this either, if you look at your own factory injector, there is a laser or a friction weld right around this panel cap. Our object to do these is literally we're going to take this o-ring off right here, take off this uh, o-ring retainer, we're going to take the injector into the bench grinder and pretty much just grind the outside of this friction weld off. You do not want to touch the panel cap or the panel area. If you do, you could ruin the injector. Um, it's not that hard, it just takes a little bit. All right. We're going to go over to the bench grinder and we're going to do this. So, follow me into my little abode. Okay, so first things you want to do is I just use a screwdriver and it takes a little bit of doing. Well, take the O-ring off first, that doesn't take much. So, just work a screwdriver. A pick would probably work better, I just did not bring one home. Let me get the, get the O-ring off, set it aside. Then this little panel cap takes a flat blade screwdriver and just work around it until it pops off. It may take a little bit, you don't want to break it. Preferably don't want to mar it up. Until it pops off like that, alright? So you'll set that aside. Now as I said, you probably can't see it in this camera, but there's a friction weld. You'll see it whenever you get that off around that injector. So just fire up your trusty little bench grinder. And you're going to just grind that friction weld off. Whenever you get down towards the bottom of the friction or the atomization cap or the pedal cap, you'll see a little ridge. Again, you probably can't see it on this camera, but whenever you're grinding at home, you'll see the little ridge right there where you're grinding through the surface. You're almost through at that point. Again, you just want to be careful. Once you get to that point, again, take a straight blade screwdriver and start working at it until it comes off. This does take a little bit. And you might have to go back to it with a bench render a couple times. I think I got this one through enough. I mean, the reason you could grind all the way the cap just clean off, but you stand a very high chance at that point of hitting the panel or the seat area of the panel and making the ejector pretty much worthless. Which is not a good thing. I don't know if you can see that or not. I got some of the cap flipped up. Can you see it? Not okay. really. You can see a little bit of the cap flipped up. I've got a. I gotta grind it just a tad, tidbit more off. Alright, and then once you get ground down enough, the cap literally just comes right off. Take the cap off, then you got your nice injector with a pedal. We'll take a photo. 
could show it at the end of this video. Yeah, the autofocus won't focus in close enough on it. Okay. But we'll take a photo at the end so you can see the aftermath of what you're looking for. Again, you can we'll show you that the pinnel cap was not touched, neither was the pinnel. So at that, or the pinnel cap of the injector itself, not the cover. So after you get done doing that, you take your black plastic retainer and you push it back on until it snaps. Then you take your O-ring, put your O-ring back on, and you're done. You're it's ready. Right